Hey everyone, it's Rachel. I hope you are doing as well as possible given the current unusual circumstances. Today I'm going to answer a bunch of your questions from Instagram and YouTube. I received a ton of questions from all of you, and while I won't be able to get to all of them in this video, I really appreciate you taking the time to leave a question. From your experience, what has been your go-to method of learning new songs or riffs? YouTube videos, tabs, just working it out by listening to it, or maybe a combination of several different things. What I usually do for learning new songs is a combination of watching YouTube videos and learning by ear. I actually very rarely look at tabs, it just isn't my preferred way of learning, but if it works for you, that is totally cool. I'll usually use YouTube videos as kind of the base, so either looking up lessons, if there are lessons, or just looking at a bunch of different covers or live performances of the artist playing the song to kind of get the overall idea of the song and kind of get all of the notes down generally. But then I'll use my ear to fine tune things and get them to where I think they sound just like the song. I've also recently been kind of adding some of my own things to songs and also playing the vocal melodies on the guitar and that part I've just been doing entirely by ear. For me, I think looking at many different sources is really important because I look at how a bunch of different people play different things and how the artist plays it live as well. And then I always use my ear to make sure that what I'm playing is actually what I'm hearing. How are you doing with mastering the seven string acts that you want Anita Strauss's air guitar competition a while back? Which version do you think will be your go-to guitar in the long run, the six string or the seven string? For those of you who don't know, I actually won a seven string Ibanez guitar a little over a year ago now in an air guitar contest on stage at Nita Strauss's album release party in LA. And that was a really cool experience. I actually have a video of me winning the guitar if you're interested in checking it out. Because most of the bands I listen to, most of the music I listen to in general doesn't use seven string guitars, I haven't actually been playing it a ton. I made one cover with it last year and I'd like to do more with it this year, but it's not something I've been focused on. I've still been pretty much focused on playing six string. It's really cool to have around though, and I definitely should use it more. So if you have any seven string songs you think would be fun for me to learn, definitely let me know in the comments. A bunch of you wanted to know what the best electric guitar setup would be for a beginner. I've actually made an in-depth video on this in the past. If you'd like to hear my thoughts in detail on what guitars and amps you should check out when you're first learning guitar. But to answer the question briefly, there are a bunch of awesome guitars in the $150 to $300 range that could be great options if you're looking to start out on the instrument but not sure if you want to stick with it long term. I started out on a Fender Affinity Squire guitar, but there are great Ibanez guitars in that range as well as Epiphone. It really depends on what style of guitar you think looks coolest and most fun to play and also what style of music you want to play the most. If you're mostly interested in playing hard rock and metal, I definitely recommend trying to get a guitar with a humbucker because that will help you achieve rock and metal tones without having to worry about the amp being hummy. It's also totally fine to spend more money on your starter guitar if you're pretty sure you want to stick with it or maybe you don't mind buying used and then you could resell it for the same price you got it for if you end up not liking the instrument. There are just a lot of options. Would you recommend virtual amps for beginners? So I personally use a combination of a modeling amp, the Yamaha THR10, which I use for practicing and as an interface for recording often. But for my tones, for my covers now, I actually use BiasFX2, which is modeling software. I think for recording, having modeling software is super awesome. It allows you to change your tone on the fly and is very flexible. You can get any tone you want, really. But I also really like having my Yamaha THR10 practice amp around because it allows me to just not have to be plugged into a computer. I can just use the amp on its own and adjust the tones on there when I'm just practicing. I think modeling software can be an awesome choice depending on your setup if you have monitor speakers and it's relatively easy to get up and going. But if that's a bit of a hassle or maybe you don't always want to have to play with headphones or you don't always want to have to turn on your computer, I might recommend checking out one of the many modeling practice amps first. How long did it take you to learn a song, all the notes, and then getting up to speed when you first started compared to now? That is an interesting question. I didn't actually learn my first full song all the way through at speed until I think 10 or 11 months into playing guitar. So that took me quite a while. I wasn't necessarily focused on learning a full song at that point. I was mostly just learning parts of songs and I hadn't really tried to get one down. So that took a long time, but even when I was learning it, it took me at least a month of practice and trying to record to get a cover I was happy with. Now, depending on the song, I can definitely learn them a lot faster. I can probably pick up a relatively easy song in about a week or so, but it might take me a while to really feel like I have it down 100% with no mistakes and sounding exactly like I want it. So in some ways I spend a longer amount of time than you might think working on each song because I really want to make them as good as they 
they can be before I record a cover, but I can get kind of the basic structure and parts of a song down if it's easy and doesn't have a complicated solo in not as much time. However, if you saw my recent video, you would have seen that it took me three years to get the trooper down in its entirety, including the solo, because the solo was pretty fast for me and just took a ton of practice. So yeah, it's hard to say exactly how long it takes me to learn a song now. It's definitely a lot faster picking up the riffs and things like that, but depending on the complexity of the song and how tricky it is, it could take a really long time to get it fully up to speed and into a place that I'm happy with. A few of you wanted to know if I have any hobbies apart from guitar, and also if I play another instrument. So guitar and making videos for YouTube is definitely my primary hobby. It's what I spend pretty much all of my free time on. However, in the past I have been into some video games, and while that had pretty much decreased to not playing games at all in recent years. Over this shelter in place period, I have actually been playing a bit more and I've actually been playing a few games on a Nintendo Switch Lite that I got this past fall. This is my Switch Lite. I got it in the turquoise color. It's pretty cool. And I've been playing Animal Crossing a bit on this. I've also been playing a card game, Slay the Spire, which is pretty fun. And the past couple of months, I also finished Hollow Knight, which is a really hard, but really awesome game with really cool art. As far as instruments outside of guitar, not really. I have a bass, but I don't really play it very well. But I think that learning other instruments is something that I'd like to do and do more of in the future. So if you have any suggestions for other instruments you'd like to see me play, definitely let me know in the comments. A lot of you wanted to know how I learned guitar, whether it was through lessons or just self-taught. I'm entirely self-taught with the help of the internet, so I've looked at a lot of YouTube resources and YouTube instructors, but I haven't taken any in-person lessons or lessons over video calls. That's not to say that lessons aren't useful. I think it really depends on your learning style and what would benefit fit you the most, but I've enjoyed learning this way and it's definitely possible to learn entirely via online resources without ever getting a lesson. Do you like the band Paramore? So I was definitely into Paramore back in the day, I guess when I was in late middle school or early high school, and I definitely listened to Misery Business a lot, but I haven't really kept up with them recently. What is your favorite ghost album and song to play by them? Now this is a tough question. It's really hard to choose just one ghost album as my favorite. I really love all of them, but I'd probably have to say that it's Meliora overall because it has some really awesome songs like Cerise, which is just definitely one of my favorite songs and also probably my favorite one of theirs to play on the guitar. I still come back to that main riff a lot, but really I've enjoyed all of the ghost songs I've learned. They all just have super fun riffs to play that are nice and groovy and creepy sounding, which I enjoy. And they also have solos that are not too hard to play usually, but really fun and have a lot of energy in them. Square Hammer also has a special place in my heart as it was the first full song I learned to play all the way through. When did you start listening to rock and metal and what bands did you listen to at this time? So I think I started listening to rock and metal in high school, probably my first year in high school, kind of transitioned over from listening to some classic rock stuff. I think when I first learned about metal, I probably started listening to mostly the classic stuff like Metallica and maybe Megadeth. Death. I know there was some Megadeth in there, but outside of that, I took a while to find symphonic metal and the type of metal I listen to now. I think before that, I started listening to some Disturbed. I also listened to some Linkin Park back in that time period. And yeah, there are a bunch of other bands as well, but I'll have to go back and see if I can put together a map of all the bands I listened to over time and maybe make another video on that. Have you experimented with finger style at all? How do you feel about it versus picking? I haven't spent much time working on finger picking overall. I have done a little bit. I did an acoustic guitar cover this past year using finger picking and I had done one on the electric guitar before, but it's just not something that I focus much on, but I think it'd be cool to learn more of it in the future. I am 49 this year. All I want to do is play my favorite songs. I don't want to write my own music, improvise, or even perform. All I want to do is throw on a tune and play along with it. What do I need to learn to be able to pick up songs quickly and what don't I need to learn? Basically what I'm asking is do I need to learn keys, all the notes on the fretboard, major scales, etc., or is this a waste of time for my end goal? Well, I think it's likely that goals could shift over time as you get more familiar with the instrument and get further into playing. I think that starting out by learning songs and working towards learning songs is an awesome way to do it and it's primarily what I've done with my learning. As you work on learning the songs that you are excited to play, you'll probably end up tangentially picking up other things along the way. Like you'll definitely need to pick up different techniques in order to play the songs. And you'll probably end up learning some theory things too, as you get more familiar with the songs and how they're created. Overall, just start by learning what you find fun. And if your goal is to learn songs, work on songs, have fun with them, and 
if your goals change over time, you can adjust, but I think it's totally fine to start out that way. How did you start to learn songs? Because I'm a beginner and it just seems so overwhelming. I don't even know where to begin. So I completely understand that feeling. It is totally normal to feel overwhelmed by the vast number of possibilities of things you could learn with the guitar. Starting out, I would just look up lessons on songs that I enjoyed and tried to learn parts of them or riffs from them, even if I couldn't play them up to full speed or very well at all. I think that doing that and just playing things that I was excited about, even if I couldn't get them down 100% was really valuable because I was having a lot of fun with it and I was picking up techniques along the way. So I'd mostly recommend just thinking about songs that you'd love to be able to play and start looking at them and seeing if you can learn even just small parts of them because it's a lot of fun. Along with this, a bunch of you wanted to know what rock and metal songs and solos I thought would be good to learn for beginners. There are a lot of great potential choices, but a couple of ones that I learned that were useful for me were Smells Like Teen Spirit, which has a pretty simple solo, which is a good first solo to try to learn. It also has the classic riff with some left hand muting, which is pretty valuable, and I definitely recommend learning that one. Early on, I also learned Breaking the Law by Judas Priest, which has some fun beginner friendly riffs, and I think that's another great one. If you're into ghosts like I am, there are a bunch of great ghost songs that are pretty beginner friendly, maybe a bit more towards the intermediate side, but they're really fun to learn, and I started learning those songs pretty early on as well. If you want to work on palm muting, Paranoia by Black Sabbath could be another good choice, and it also has a really awesome guitar solo that is relatively beginner friendly, not like straight beginner, but once you've gotten a bit into your playing, I think I learned it a little bit over a year into playing. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica is also a good one if you want to learn Metallica, but maybe aren't quite ready for the really super fast solos and riffs in some of their other songs. How long did it take you to dominate alternate picking? I'm so frustrated. Much love for Mexico. While I don't know that I've mastered alternate picking, it's definitely something that comes really natural to me now and I don't think about it at all when I'm playing, it just happens. But when I first started out, I definitely spent a bunch of time practicing and consciously focusing on my picking to make sure that I was always alternate picking and that really helped long term. It's definitely tricky at first and I'm not sure how long exactly it took me to get fully comfortable with it, but I think if you just put in the effort of focusing on it, eventually you won't have to worry about it and it will just be something that comes naturally to you. Should I start learning to play the acoustic guitar before learning the electric? A lot of people think that you have to start learning on the acoustic guitar before you can move to the electric guitar, but that is definitely not true. You should start on whichever guitar type you are most excited to play and whichever guitar type is used in most of the music that you like. So if you want to play primarily acoustic guitar related songs, definitely start on an acoustic guitar, but if you're into rock and metal, definitely start on an electric. It's so important to have fun, to make progress when you're learning guitar, and if you choose the wrong guitar type, the one that you're actually not really excited to play, it'll probably be hard to get too far. How do you keep yourself motivated to practice? How has this changed within the last couple of months with everything surrounding this pandemic changing all of our lives? Like everyone else, I definitely have my struggles sometimes with motivation and the current situation hasn't been helping a lot. I have been a bit distracted and feeling a bit less productive than I usually am. I know a lot of people have been posting about how they've been super productive and creative during this time period, but I just want to say that everyone's handling this differently and there is a lot going on right now and it is okay if you're not feeling like your usual self and maybe not feeling as motivated to practice. That happens normally and even more so in a time like this. So just maybe try to give yourself a break and that's something that I've been trying to keep in mind as well. But overall, I'm really motivated by learning songs that I really enjoy and just being able to play songs that I like is just so much fun. So I have a lot of fun with that. And I'm also super motivated by the YouTube channel and by the YouTube community we have here. It's a lot of fun getting to make videos and share them with all of you. So yeah, all of you are a huge motivating factor for me in my daily guitar playing and my guitar practicing. I think in general, motivation is tied to having fun with what you're doing and what you're learning. So if you're maybe not feeling so motivated, maybe try to listen to some new music or think about a song you really love and just sit down and try to learn some of it and play along with the track. But again, if you're not feeling super motivated, it's also okay to take a break. It's okay to give yourself a rest and not beat yourself up for taking a little break, a little time away from the instruments. What is your biggest tip for beginners? I really admire you. Congratulations on your progress. Thank you so much. I'd say my biggest tip for beginners is nothing too technical. It's just to have fun with guitar and learn things that you are really excited about. As I mentioned time and time again, I think that 
the key component of making progress aside from, you know, consistent practicing is to make sure that you're learning things you're passionate about personally and that you always try to keep your practice as fun as possible. There will definitely be many frustrating moments when you're learning to play guitar, times when it's not so fun because you're struggling with something, and I definitely still experience that as well. But if things are overall fun and you remember why you started learning to play the instruments and you can play along with some of your favorite songs, it will just keep things fun overall and hopefully keep you coming back to it and motivated long term. How many concerts have you been to and have you ever crowd surfed or moshed? Also, System of a Down covers. <laughs> I really enjoy going to concerts in general and I try to go to as many as I can when bands I like are nearby. It comes in waves. I'd say I probably generally will go to like one every two to three months in more normal times, but it definitely comes in waves where the bands I like all come at once. So I go to like five back to back and then none for like three or four months. But yeah, I try to go to as many as I can when bands I like are nearby. I'm not really into moshing or crowd surfing. I generally try to get as close as possible as I can to the front so I can just see the musicians live and enjoy the music. Also, as far as System of a Down covers, I'm actually thinking about doing one of those in the near future. A few of you also wanted to know what inspired me to start playing guitar and making YouTube videos. When I decided to start learning electric guitar, I was really just looking for a new hobby. I had previously tried a few different things like skateboarding and and Rubik's cubing, but neither of those went too far. And I thought that learning an instrument might be kind of fun because I really liked music in general. And then I thought about the music I listened to, which is primarily rock and metal. And I realized that electric guitar is in all of that. And it would be super cool to be able to play along with the songs that I love. So I decided to get an electric guitar and just see what I could learn with it. Obviously that ended up being an awesome choice and I've had a ton of fun with it so far. And as far as getting into YouTube and deciding to put a lot of effort into it, I've always been into making videos. I always thought it was fun to be able to make something like that and share it with the world. So it was just kind of a natural evolution and I had been recording myself. So I posted my progress video and that did well. And I've just kind of stuck with it ever since then. In general, I just really love making content. It's a ton of fun. And I really enjoy being able to share it with you in this community. Hey Rachel, what's your favorite food? I mean, the one you could eat every single day without getting bored of. Any specialties you are particularly fond of? My favorite food is one that I actually only discovered like five years ago, and it is sushi. I really like sushi and raw fish in pretty much all forms. I like nigiri, poke bowls, and just rolls in general. I could never get tired of sushi. Kind of indirectly as a result of getting into sushi and Japanese food in general, I've actually gone to Japan twice now on two different trips and had a ton of great food, including sushi there, and just had an awesome time exploring the country. Which one of your guitars do you practice with the most? So that would be my RG652 AHM FX, the hardtail Ibanez guitar I got after my first guitar, so it was my second guitar. And the reason for that is simply because it has a hardtail or fixed bridge, so I can switch between tunings really easily. And if I end up playing anything in D standard tuning or anything lower than E standard in general, I will end up gravitating towards that guitar because it's just so much easier to retune. So definitely that guitar is the one I play the most. What other genres, if any, are you into? So I'm definitely primarily into hard rock and metal, but I do like classic rock as well. And sometimes I also go through phases of listening to older pop music like ABBA. I was into an ABBA phase recently and that kind of happens every so often. And also recently I've been pretty into 80 sounds mixed with metal, so kind of like poppy metal. So Battle Beast has some of that with some cool synth things going on and Ghost does some of that as well. How do you manage to not get frustrated while trying to learn a song and end up giving up on it? So I think the key thing here is to recognize that it is totally okay to take breaks from songs. If you find yourself getting frustrated and not having fun, not making progress with the song, you can come back to it a day later, a week later, a month later, really however long it takes to make you feel more comfortable with the song is okay. While it is sometimes good to push through some of the frustration to get something down, if it just feels insurmountable or you're just not having fun, I think it's better to move on temporarily and come back to it when you're ready. If you saw my recent video on my progress learning the trooper over three years, you saw that I took a lot of breaks from that song over time, sometimes many months in between working on it. And that ended up working out for me because I had kind of gotten stuck and felt like I couldn't make more progress, but I eventually did come back to it and learn it. And while it did take a long time, I did eventually get it down and it was a lot more fun having those breaks in between. Now for a question from one of my awesome Patreon supporters. Hey Rachel, I hope you're doing fine. Are you planning on making a solo album, instrumental, or with vocals? 
tears keep rocking. I think that eventually making an album would be really cool, but I think probably what I'll do first is work on more individual songs so I can kind of get better at writing songs in general before I go for a full album, but it's something that I think would be cool to do in the future. Right now I don't think my vocals are quite up to par to be on an album, so I'd probably do an instrumental one if I were to write one, and probably songs I write in the future will be instrumental, but kind of with guitars playing the vocal lines as I've been doing recently, but maybe it could be cool to work with a vocalist or just try to spend some time getting better at singing in general. In general, I would like to try to write more music. It's something that I've been a little bit nervous about doing, honestly, because I feel like I have to make everything really perfect and I know that's not possible. And also I'm really new to songwriting, so it's just not really a valid reason to be scared of trying to write more. So it's something that I just need to push past and start just trying to do and see how it turns out. I have been recording some riff ideas recently of things that I think could be fun to put in songs, so hopefully I can share some of those with you in the future. But yeah, in general I think it would be fun to have an album and cool to try to write songs that work together in an album format. Well I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for all of your awesome questions, I really appreciate them, and I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours in this video. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy in these difficult times, and I will see you in the next video.